the glory era of the 90s was yourself, Ben, Watson, Steve Collins well, but Harold Graham was on the outside. Why, why? Well, he was, he was too good for his own good, really. I mean, he wasn't a man you could hit. And so if you had any type of reason or intellect at all, you'd say, well, why would I fight you? Why would you fight somebody you can't hit? And that's the greatest compliment I can actually pay you, Harold. Couldn't hit you. Not with a, not with a handful of, of stones you couldn't be hit. So would it be fair to say you avoided a fight with Bomber Graham? I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't actually say I avoided the fight. I categorically said on national television, I am not fighting you. <laughs> Why would I fight someone I can't hit? That's not dodging. Dodging is when you make excuses, you know. A lot of people would say he wasn't in my class. So, can us, music off there? Can you? Sorry. A lot of people would say that Harold wasn't really in um, my league. Uh, well, you know, the biggest respect I can pay the man is, is to say that, well, in your view, he may not have been, but in my view, he wasn't the man you could hit. You know, he fought a fellow called Rod <coughs> Douglas. Rod Douglas was an excellent fighter, and he actually finished the career. Harold Graham finished his career. How? By having him walk onto punches. He didn't hit that hard, but when, you, when, you, when someone's walking onto your punches, which he was a master at, uh, you know, he, he could be very, very heavy-handed. 